What's up? Inside is Deuces Jacket Vaping Insider. Today I got a side-by-side -side for you. Oh yeah, baby. This one's a collaboration between Sunbox and Aspire. I'm talking about the Aspire Mix. And as a bonus for you, because I love yous all, I'm also going to review the Nautilus GT with this mod because they go so well together. Before we get into the video, click the link down below in the top comment in order to join our Facebook group. Pop this thing open. You see the Prestige branding, okay? Box, nice presentation. Here's your Prestige envelope. The only thing in this Prestige envelope, though, is a mix user's manual, all right? So we're gonna pluck that and file it to the side. Take this little piece off right here. Boom, there you go. There's your mix. It's in there real tight, man. Pain in the neck to get out, but here we go. Boom, check that out, man. It's kind of neat looking, right? I'm kind of digging the look with the bars there, the texture there. I like it, man. I really, really like the look. I've been liking the look of a lot of these side-by-side -side mods that have been coming out. There's your mix branding right there. Some more texture. I like it. There's a little cutout right there for your fire button. Really, really nice. A little Aspire branding there. I like the chrome accents on the up and down button. Nice job on that. All right, screen is on the bottom, right? We've seen that on a lot of side-by-side -side mods. Pretty cool, okay? On top here is where your 510 is. Gold-plated. 510 that I would say has a medium throw with a kind of stiff spring to it, almost semi-stiff spring to it. Stainless steel threading around that. Three screws here holding your 510 pin in place, all right? You got some more screws over here holding the bars in place. I like that. All right, it's got a very industrial look to it. Here is your battery cap. Threading on it is pretty decent. It's not terrible. Definitely, definitely better than I've gotten from past Aspire products. It's not bad at all. Okay, you can see the big negative sign right there. All right, shows you that you got to put your battery in positive facing down. So let's go ahead and do that. Positive facing down. All right, take your cap, reverse thread. It clicks right away. Screw it down and pop it right in there. All right, nice job on that, man. Just really, really nice. All right. On the bottom right there, there's your screen. Very DNA-ish, right? Almost looks like a DNA screen, all right? Scrolls in 0.1 watt increments all the way up to 60 watts. It does round robin, okay? Hit the plus and minus button together, and it flips the screen, okay? Your screen is laid out as follows. Resistance, voltage, amps, okay? There is your wattage right there, all right? Three clicks puts you into stealth mode. Three clicks puts you back. Now, the other thing you get in the box is you get this 18350 sleeve, okay? And in order to replace it, you basically can take this 18650 sleeve out. You have to loosen these two screws right here, right? This piece comes off, and then you screw your 18350 sleeve in there. I have no use for an 18350 sleeve. I know it's very popular among side-by-side -side, uh, mod users. I'd much rather want run an 18650. But it's very nice that they include it. They also include different screws, so everything lines up beautifully when you replace the sleeve. Here's the one I've been running. I got my Vandy Vape Berserker Mini on it right now. Okay, wanted to show you what the silver one looks like. Let's go over the tank I decided to pair with it, Nautilus GT Mini. We're going to pop it open just like so, okay? And there you go. Really, really nice. My bad. I think I might have said in the beginning of the video this is part of the Prestige line. It looks like it's not, okay? So my bad on that, all right? There you go. Nice-looking tank, man. Look at that tank. Very, very nice-looking. I like, I like the way that it's got, like, the different tiered windows there. Nice job on that, Aspire. All right, over here, you have a 510 drip tip, okay? Pops in and out very nicely. A little bit of really fine knurling on top here. Now, this is one of those quarter of a turn top caps. See that mark right there? When it lines up with that, like that, now you can pop it out, 
Okay? Nice job on that, man. Really, really nice job. What you have here is you have this basically like a chimney condenser, man. So that's going to give you really, really good flavor, right? And then over here, you have your fill ports. You have a recession, and you have two nice fill ports over here. Okay, really, really easy to fill. Needle nose bottles only apply. All right, you want to put it back on, quarter of a turn, and now it's back on. Nice job on that, man. Here is your airflow right here. Okay, it's got clicks. It clicks. You can feel it click. See it cutting down, and you can just feel it click for each one. So one, two, three, four, five. Five airflow settings, and I like that click, man. That's kind of nice, okay? Obviously, that's it wide open. On the bottom, you can see you can see Nautilus GT Mini, and on the bottom, a Spireless Tafun. All right, gold-plated 510, insulator ring around it, stainless steel threading around that. Now, in order to access your tank, you saw that? Did you see that? See that? It's a little different, right? You kind of... It kind of, it unscrews and then pops out, all right? So nice job on that. It's like it's got to get past the O-rings first, and then it screws on. So I like that a lot, all right? You can see the coil that uh, comes included, Nautilus, all right, mesh coil, okay, 0 0.7, 20, the 25 watts, I believe. I can't see that for anything, but you can see the mesh inside, all right, Nautilus coils are fantastic. They're legendary, all right? This should be no different. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the base back on, and we're going to give this thing a fill. Pop it back on. Like I said, it's almost got to get past the O-ring first, and then you can feel it tightening down, all right? Now we're going to take this quarter of a turn, pop it open, and we're going to fill it up. Juice we're going to be using today, Sad Boy Cookie Custard, one of my all-time favorite juices. We're going to take that nice big fill port hole, and we're just going to give it a squeeze. Now you're going to notice I didn't prime this coil. These smaller coils, I tend not to prime, only because, you know, you give them a few dry pulls, and you're good to go. You know, that's the way I feel about these smaller coils. So it looks like we're all filled up right there, all right? Now we're going to take our top cap. We're going to make sure it seats, and then quarter of a turn. And then there you go. That's what it looks like, all filled up with some cookie custard. Also included in the box for the GT Mini, you get a user manual. You do get a nice spare glass. I like that. You get some spare O-rings, always nice. And you get a spare coil. Let's pop this open. Let me show it to you. This is the 1.6 ohm coil, good for 7 to 11 watts. You can see just a regular round wire coil. I definitely prefer the mesh. This is not a bad coil. It's just too low of a wattage for me personally. But I've vaped on this coil before. It is good if you're a low wattage vapor. Now let's take our Nautilus GT Mini. We're going to screw it on just like so. All right. Looks nice. Looks kind of neat on there, right? Definitely goes. The look definitely goes with the side-by-side, -side, right? That Those windows definitely go with that industrial look. Nice pairing here. They should really sell this as a kit. And now what we're going to do is we're going to adjust our wattage. We're going to start off at around 20 watts. And let's go ahead and take it for a vape. But before we take this for a vape, let me give you a quick size comparison, okay? This is the Aspire Mix. This is the Davpo College, all right? You can see very, very similar in size. Not much of a difference, all right? Definitely different types of looks. This is more straight, more industrial looking. The College is more curvy and more ergonomic, okay? But... You know, these side-by-side -side mods are becoming very popular lately. So here they are again, both of them together. This is the silver. This is the black. Let's go back on top. Let's be. Let's get into those cons and pros. We're going to start off with cons as usual. First con is going to be, in order to convert this to 18350 mode, you need a hex key. They didn't put a hex key in the kit. That's a con. It's got no port. No port for updates. 
no port for charging on the fly. Some people are going to think that's a con. I think it works well the way it is. It's simple enough where it doesn't need an update, but a lot of people like that charge port to charge on the fly, especially with a single battery mod. It doesn't bother me, but it will bother some people. Not a lot of bells and whistles on this one, right? Basically, variable voltage, variable wattage. That's it. Some people are going to like the simplicity. Some people are going to miss the bells and whistles. That's a personal decision. I just got to point it out. And the last con is going to be, I say this with every single 18650 mod. Mm -hmm. I have no use for a single 18650 mod. I wish they would have made this in 21700 form factor. I would use it a lot more had they done that. Let's move on to the pros. We got plenty of pros on this thing. I love, I love the screen on the bottom, man. Brings me back to the good old days, right? Brings me back to those Vapor Shark days, right? You remember the Vapor Shark one with that rubber coating and everything? I got a few of them, you know, on the shelf right here. Awesome, awesome job putting the screen on the bottom. I'm definitely digging it. It's giving me some nostalgia, that's for sure. 24 millimeters fit on top without any overhang. Pro, I love the side-by-side -side construction. I'm getting into these side-by-side -side mods. I really am. It's just a shame that most of them are 18650s, but I dig the look of it, and I like the form factor of these side-by-sides. Really nice job with them. I'm glad they're gaining more and more popularity lately. So far, the machining, like on the battery cap and everything, really, really decent. Aspire did a nice job on it. It's a pro. I have no use to do it, but it is a pro that you can switch it to 18350 mode. I, I think I have one 18350 cell out of all the cells sitting on my desk, right? I just have no use for that battery. But for people that do, you can rock it in super small 18350 mode. It's a pro to those people. It's got a simple menu system. It's got really nice build quality, right? This is in Aspire's new Prestige line, and they've definitely upped their build quality game. This thing feels solid in the hand. It feels like a nice, chunky piece of metal. Really nice job on the build quality. Definitely a pro. That display, it's old school, but it's nice and bright, man. Well laid out, big font. I'm digging it. I'm giving it a pro. As far as the tank goes, the, the flavor on the tank is fantastic. I think it matches up really nice with the mod. I think the collaboration between Tayfun and Aspire was a huge hit. I like the fact that it takes the Nautilus coils. Nautilus coils are legendary. You can get them everywhere. I just think it pairs really nice with this. Right now I got it at 20 watts. And it vapes beautifully, man. Just really, really nice, solid flavor. I mean, it just doesn't get any better than that when it comes to a mouth-to-lung sub-ohm tank. Just a really, really nice job overall on the tank. As far as the tank goes, I like that the glass is protected. It's really machined well. I just think they did a bang-up job on the tank, man. I like the drip tip. I like the smoothness of the airflow. The tank just really matches really well with this mix mod. In fact, it matches so well, I can't believe Aspire didn't make this a kit, right? I think if they would have made this a kit, it would have sold like hotcakes. It just goes too well together to not sell them together. Let's move on to that five star rating system. First category is gonna be the looks. I put this thing together myself, Aspire. You should really put this together and make it a kit. I think the tank and the mod look absolutely badass together. The mod has that industrial look with those bars on there. It's got some nice cutouts and contours to it where it feels really comfortable in the hand. And I just think that industrial type of tank protector goes well with the overall motif of this mod. In the looks category, I'm giving it four and a quarter stars. Form factor, small, classy looking, compact, easy to carry. I'm giving it another four and a quarter stars. As far as performance goes, when you pair this tank and this mod, you got an awesome coil system, right? With a very simple menu system, as well as a mod that has nice build quality, goes up to 60 watts, fires accurately. The flavor's fantastic on the tank. In the performance category, together, I'm giving it a four and a half. 
as far as the value goes, I've been seeing the tank anywhere from nine to $29. That's what I've seen it for online. I've seen it on sale for nine bucks. The mod I've been seeing anywhere from 59 to $69. So let's say you get everything on the low end. You get the mod for 60, you get the tank for 10 bucks. For 70 bucks, you got an awesome mouth to lung setup. Even if you get it on the high side, you get the mod for 70, you get the tank for 30. For a hundred bucks, you got a really nice mouth-to-lung setup. The value is definitely there when you pair these two together. In the value category, I'm giving it four and a quarter stars. We're going to take all these stars. We're going to add them up. We're going to come up with a whopping total star count of 17.25 stars. 17 and a quarter. Now remember, that rating is with both the Nautilus GT and the mix together. So now we're going to take these 17 and a quarter stars, we're going to divide them by four, and we're going to come up with an average star count of 4.31. This thing scored well. When you put them both together, it just, it's a nice, nice kit. 4.31 is well over being Deuces Jack approved. If you're at four, you're automatically Deuces Jack approved. 4.3 is basically a must buy. And if you're into the mouth to lung setups, right, and you don't want to build, you might want to check out the Aspire Mix with the Nautilus GT. It's an awesome combo. Let's get into some of the specs on the Aspire Mix. It measures in at 83 by 48 by 24 millimeters. It can be run in single 18650 or single 18350 mode. It will fire down to 0.1 ohm. It has variable wattage and variable voltage mode. It also features a 0.9 inch display and it will fire to a maximum of 60 watts. As far as the tank goes, it's a collaboration between Aspire and Tafun. It is the GT 2.8 edition. There's also a TPD and PSU tube edition. It is 22 millimeters in diameter, 54 millimeters high. It will hold 2.8 mLs of juice. If you get the tube edition, it'll hold 3.5 mLs. It has five adjustable airflow positions that measure in at one millimeter, 1.2 millimeters, 1.5, 1.8, and 2.5 millimeters. Don't forget, insiders, head on over to our Facebook group, Vaping Insider Community. It's a great group of people, over 14,000 members. We're all very friendly. We all look to help one another out bunch of knowledgeable vapors there. All we do is talk about vapes 24-7. We're like family over there. I'd love to see you there as well. And that's it, insiders. That's all I got for you guys today. You keep living that vape life. We're out of here. Deuces.